The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from University of Alberta. COVID-19 is out and about. Streets are empty. People are isolating at home and social distancing outside. Mainstream media refers to the crisis as a zombie apocalypse and the eeriness of zombie apocalypse like empty streets. So what can zombies tell us about COVID-19? On their own they don't mean a thing, but they're used to explore how humans respond to a wide range of issues and crises like disease, social decay, or environmental problems. For example, George A. Romero's Living Dead trilogy is a criticism on contemporary society, racism, consumerism, and the corruption of scientific and military institutions. Recent films like Zombieland and World War Z discuss economic disparity, the migrant crisis, and environmental catastrophe, but they also discuss family, gender roles, and human spirituality. The COVID-19 pandemic began in much the same way as zombie plagues are represented. Vague reports of a new disease appear in media, but the epicenter is far away from us. The disease soon worsens and begins to spread exponentially. The origin is still obscure. People in charge cannot agree to a coordinated response. Normal life is disrupted and eventually borders become meaningless as the viral infection grows out of control. In a zombie apocalypse, society eventually collapses into bloody anarchy. The living are consumed. In our case so far, that has not happened. Zombie apocalypse films also play with uncertainty, fear, and rumor mongering. Early films are deliberately vague about the origin of the zombie virus. Recent films show the plague emerging from third world countries or the military industrial complex or the corporate world either as a biomedical experiment gone wrong or a bioweapon unleashed but we see similar sentiments around covid-19 some speculate that weird animal species and cultural practices may have given rise to covid-19 or that the virus has been developed and deployed by some evil government cures in zombie apocalypse films are usually biomedical in world war z the protagonist tests a treatment on himself in a lab in an attempt to eradicate the plague in i am legend the protagonist experiments on the infected to develop a vaccine right now researchers are frantically studying the covid-19 virus Laboratories are doing multiple clinical trials and current drugs like anti-malarials are being used as temporary experimental substitutes. Finally, zombie movies aren't really about zombies. The COVID-19 pandemic is less about COVID-19 and more about our individual community responses to sudden scary upheavals in our daily lives. Unlike in the movies, It's not lock your doors every man for himself. People are collectively taking action to flatten the curve. They are reaching out and helping one another. This story was adapted from Alexander Carpenter's folio article How much is a zombie apocalypse like a pandemic? Carpenter is a musicologist and cultural historian. She teaches an interdisciplinary university course called Seminar of the Living Dead. It examines how zombies are used metaphorically in our society, often for purposes of socio-political commentary and critique or philosophical inquiry or to challenge cultural norms.